swerve, swerve in the whip, swerve in the whip, swerve, swerve in the whip, blowing dang, sipping, trying to go to pub. We're to take one, son. <laughs> I currently live in Los Angeles, California. I'm 25 years old. I was always into music. I mean, both my parents were musicians growing up, and I, I was uh, on tour when my, my mom was pregnant with me. Um, so it's just something that's kind of been bred into me, into my genes. I moved to the Bay Area when I was like 13 and I didn't really know anything about electronic music. And so when I, when I moved out there, there was like, I was just hit with this crazy, I was just tossed into this electronic music world. So um, I was really fascinated by it. Um, I started playing music when I was about like 16, probably producing when I was like 17. cousin was a big hip hop head, so you know, like, he turned me on to it. I don't know, I was just fascinated by it. It was all I listened to. I know two, every Tupac lyric, <laughs> as, as bad as it is to say, but yeah. You know, I make all sorts of music from, you know, anything from ambient noise textures to, you know, trip hop to dubstep to trap to whatever. It may be, to me, music is just like an expression of like what I'm feeling at the time. And, you know, I'm not trying to make a type of music, right. you know, so to me, Future Trill is just my movement, and right. my, my experience. And I just like playing my music, man. I, I, I like I like experimenting a lot. A lot of times, you know, I'll make something and I'll go to the club and play it the same night. And, you know, sometimes it'll work and I'll keep it and it'll go on the album later on. And sometimes it'll, you know, I'll be like, oh, this isn't the one and I'll cut it. Nobody will ever hear it again. You know, so, you know, and, and that's where I feel like um, that experimentation, as much as I love it, I feel like a lot of people are kind of turned off by that because, you know, a lot of times I'll be playing stuff that nobody really knows. Right. And, you don't know if you don't know if it's me or not, you know, and they don't think it's me, or, or like they'll just be like they want to hear the tunes that they recognize, right. you know, that they can relate to, and, and that's kind of frustrating. But I'm having fun. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I fluctuate, you know, between going going from, you know, working every day, you know, making like two, three beats a day and like working nonstop for, you know, a couple months at a time and just like waking up and sleeping in the studio kind of thing to like, you know, not writing anything at all, taking a month or two off. And I've been working on the album for a while and uh, the future trill too. And um, after this Event Horizon tour, it's, I have like a couple months, like two months to, to wrap it up. So um, when I get back down to LA, um, I just moved into a new spot. Actually, I'm gonna set up my studio and, and kind of uh, get back into that. Um, I was living in Brooklyn for the last two years and um, I couldn't make music in my building. So I had to like rent out studios and all that. And um, this is the first time I get to set my studio up. Yeah, and I actually love that. I love that because, um, you know, like when you rent a studio, you like, you know, go into it with like a certain vibe and there's like certain pressures to like do things. But like when you're at home, you can wake up at 5 a.m. and go in your jammies in the studio and just kind of make something, you know. And I miss that. <laughs> Yo, this is Mimosa. You're here with the Vibes Music Festival Central, right? Central? <laughs> Keep doing it until I... Yo, this is Mimosa and you're here with the Vibes Music Festival Central.
<laughs> Yo, this is Mimosa, and you're here with the vibes at Music Festival Central. Yeah! Oh, that's the <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay.